How's it going Flame Destroyers? Welcome back to Joseph Bar and we're back with another Juice Bab reaction video. Today's Juice Bab watches Rebecca Parham and for some reason turns into an air raid siren. Let's watch a video! How's it going Flame Destroyers? Welcome back to Joseph Bar and today we're reacting to Rebecca Parham, Nice girl Rebecca Parham. 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 Nice girl Rebecca
In fact, I could maybe reach out and touch him right now if I were dumb enough. Mm-mm. Nope. Maybe I should check to make sure my group isn't leaving without me. I looked over my shoulder, expecting everyone to have moved on. Maybe you the fish away. food. But what I saw instead made my blood run cold. Uh, my group was huddling together like uh, frightened prey uh, animals, just staring up at the barracudas, their masks perfectly framing the terrified looks in their eyes. Mm. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Excuse me. It's just come to my attention that I'm in danger. <laughs> I swam back down to my group, but the bear oh, girl was still in hot pursuit, following me every kick of the way. Oh, no, the master was holding amazing. his arms out to me, and when I finally reached him, he grabbed me and shoved me behind him, hiding me amongst the others. Oh. My heart was racing. I thought over and over to myself, They're going after the little one. They picked me out as the weakest in the herd. I don't want to be fish food. Oh. We had a real standoff here. <laughs> These fish were after me like I owed them a debt. Jesus. All right, buddy. Just hand over the tasty morsel, and we don't break no kneecaps. Capiche? That's when the dive master started waving his hands out and aggressively trying to shoo them away. But the real kicker here was clear as a bell, even underwater, you could hear this brave man shouting through his uh -huh. regulator Go away! Go away! Hey, you Frankie, I think this one's trying to communicate. Eventually, during this intense okay. snowmate, the smaller of the two barracuda got a little too close to the other and they accidentally bumped into each other. Startled by the uh. contact, they zipped off the <laughs> <laughs> Never to it's return. The oh, Red Master turned around close. to see all of us applauding him gratefully. He smiled with his eyes, stuck his hand inside his wetsuit, and made the motion of a very fast heartbeat. <laughs> <sighs> you and me both, buddy. We returned to the boat, and when oh, we were all boat. on board, I yelled out, What was up with those barracudas? Um, well, I think I forgot to mention about our dive friend Susie, was she also was an expert dive master with decades of experience, and she helped shed some light on the situation. I had never read this in my fish books before. <laughs> <laughs> we were seriously attracted to shiny legs. objects. The Reason for that? Glance. They look like the scales of fish. You know, the thing they hunt. Uh, and what, pray tell, had I tied into beach. my hair that was floating all around my head while we were underwater? Ding, 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 you guessed it, shiny beads. I had made my head into a giant fishing lure. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, um. I guess this is what you'd call a bad hair day. <laughs> Here's a fun fact for you, there may be a handful of millennials out there who remember this story because in high school I submitted it to the now defunct teen magazine Cosmo Girl and they what? published it in their Me um. Loca section. The day I found out my family and I were on a flight to Orlando, I was seated away from everyone else and casually reading the latest issue of Cosmo Girl that I had just bought from the airport. I read the first couple sentences of the story and thought, oh wow, a story about a girl who scuba dives, what a coincidence. Wait a minute. I'm the girl who scuba dives. Mom, guess what? I'm a published writer. Oh, you wow. You can be proud of me. I lost that issue when we moved to our new house, but I think I remember <laughs> a light pink cover with some pop idol girl on it, and the story was called Bad Hair Day, and it would have been an early 2000s issue. All if right. any of you internet scoops out there feel like finding it, I'd be more than happy to shout you out in the next video. Just one more thing, explainers. This treehouse is getting a little cramped, so I'm having an estate sale over at the shop. Everything must go to make way for the new limited edition items we're making this year. And the best part is, if you spend $40 or more, you get your choice of one of these guys for mm. free. That's a $25 item for Zip. You can even just get this bundle right here and automatically be eligible for your gift. Waste no time, because like I said, everything must go. Anyways, explainers and entertainers, that's all gone. I got. <laughs> thank you for well, 10 good. years of support, and thank you so oh, much for tuning in. Finish, but now I gotta take yeah. out. Bye! Bye. Alright guys, that was it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, comment, like, subscribe, with the notification bell turn on. Until then, keep bringing oh, your pretty legends. Comes.
guys, I was this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, come on, like, subscribe to the notification bell, turn on the door, then click, family, your bloody legends.